My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, morning, everyone. Uh, first Friday. It's like 84, somewhere there. 84 days now, 85 days since the lockdown, March 15. I'd like to ask you a question today. Are you a basically a heart person or a head person? How do you operate? Well, kanya-kanyang personality po. I mean, we respect that. However, having said that, there is a tendency kasi of people these days to belittle the heart. Matters of the heart don't matter, Father. Huwag na natin pag-usapan yung mga heart-heart na yan. Diyos ko. Perahin na lang natin. Tapos na ang usapan. Ah, you know, the devotion to the sacred heart reminds us again, matters of the heart matter. Well, there are people who operate with the head, brilliant, intelligent, etc., fine but there are a lot of things that you just hand, cannot just handle with the head for example during this uh, quarantine uh, if you were just operating from the head you go nuts look at all the statistics the news kung yan lang kung the worries of what will happen you know fine if that's all you operated on, either you'll be so scared, you'll be so worried, and disappointed, helpless. But there are those of us, the hum, maybe the more, the little ones, who operate not so much with the head, but with the heart, and just say, with their heart. Oh God, you are greater. You are there. You are with me. You know, humility. Jesus tells us, learn from me for I am gentle and humble of heart. He himself tells us to learn to be gentle and humble of heart. Very clear. So, this is the thing. Please, go back to your heart. I think this is what's all about. What's happened? What has happened? In this time of quarantine, as it were, the Lord took away our work. Tanggali mga work na yan. Most of us anyway. And when we were, had no more work or functions, we went back to our hearts. And we went back to prayer again. Families went back to being together and praying together. You can almost say, uh, the Lord was just saying, hey, take a muna. You're so focused on the work of your hands, on the work of your head. And you've forgotten the love in your heart. I really believe that this whole thing is leading us and the whole world not to be cynical about the heart, not to belittle matters of the heart. So what the Lord is saying, it's okay to have a heart. I have seen a lot of people dying or in their deathbed 
wala po akong nakita pang mayabang at the moment of death. Kasi in the end, in these moments, your head, your money, your possessions, what are these? I guess the bottom line is there. And if there's one instance that proves the point how, how, how powerful the heart is, is watching that video of George Floyd dying, gasping for air. I mean, you watch that video. You have a heart. Do not deny the heart. There are matters of the heart that are really powerful. And that is why Jesus himself said, I am the sacred heart. He didn't say, I am the sacred head. I am the sacred hand. Worse, those people who operate not just with their head, but they operate with their pockets. Yung parang, yun na lang ang panlaban nila sa lahat ng sa mundo. That's their identity, that's their power, and that's their God. Yeah, sisters and brothers, go back to our hearts. I have always shared, and more than so now, I really believe that life is a journey to the heart. Not our financial journey, career journey, popularity journey. What else? Yeah, well, there are people who are there, but I, I would just like to say that my journey, our journey, is a journey to the heart. Number one, a journey to God's heart. Are we coming closer to God? So, wow, I keep repeating this. Ang layo na nang narating mo. Pero baka malayo ka pa sa puso ng Diyos. Taas na ng lipad mo. High altitude, but you still have so many bad attitudes. Sisters and brothers, bottom line again, if we listen to Jesus, what does it profit you? You gain the whole world and you lose your soul. And of course, not only a journey to coming closer to Lord, to the Lord, but hopefully at the end of my life, I will be there and will be embraced by God's heart. More and more, that's clearer now. The other thing is, our journey to other people's heart. Please don't forget, people have a heart. People have feelings. People have stories to tell. And there are people who think, it's all about me, it's all about my story, what I like, what I want. Ha! Huh. Journey to people's hearts. It means have respect, understanding, compassion, and love. But you cannot have all that if you don't listen to them. And you cannot listen to them if you are not present with them. Forget all your theology, philosophy, whatever, and dami nyan eh. But if you cannot connect to people's hearts, what are we? It's the heart. Our founder's prayer, may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. So we are supposed to be busy with bringing the heart of Jesus to other people. And finally, a journey to the heart, to your own heart. You know, during the quarantine, a lot of things of our hearts surface. Oh, ganito pala ako. Ah, yes, Lord. 
there's still so much I need to learn. Oh God, there's goodness in my heart, that as well. But you have to join in with your own heart and listen to your own heart. Sisters and brothers, sacred heart, the heart of Jesus. And again, do not worry about matters of the heart. Do not deny, do not belittle matters of the heart. Matters of the heart do matter. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. This is our constant prayer. Marami pa ho tayong dapat matutunan. The church herself has been purified this past 83, 80, 85 days or so. See? We have learned to do other ways and means to reach out to people. That our identity as a church is not so much about our structures or, you know, we're studying about the three C's, the code, uh, the cult, and, uh, oh, that's the case of mine. Anyway, it will come back. The three C's. The creed. We're so focused about the creed, our beliefs, or maybe our code, canon law, or our cult, our rubrics. Fine, fine, but that's not the whole church. And something's coming out in what has happened in this pandemic that we are rediscovering the heart of the church. Now, sisters and brothers, the Koreans, you always say, Ma'am, Ma'ami, Tukpilhan Koya. The heart is important. So we, this is the Korean, Kun Ma'am, big heart. This one, Potong Ma'am, the regular heart. And this one, Chakun Ma'am small heart. Whatever, kun, potong, chakun, ma'um, have a heart. Start with the heart and find God there. So, kamsamnida, saranghe, God bless us all. God bless you and Mama Mary loves you. I invite all of us to have a few moments I invite you to put your right hand over your heart. It's a simple gesture of welcoming the Lord in our hearts, accepting Him. It's a little gesture of humility before God. And we ask the Lord today to come into our hearts. Lord, there are many things we don't understand. There are many things beyond our control. Just stay with us, Lord. Be with us. And keep our hearts aflame by the ho- with the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless all the people in my heart. Wherever they are, let's take care of them and be with them. As we pray also, Lord, for all people especially those who are suffering, those who are hungry and angry, the sick, the dying. Lord, keep our hearts aflame with hope, not to give up on your love for us. And Lord, you know also the sins of our hearts our weaknesses and you know God the needs of our hearts may the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief and COVID-19 vanish before the light of the word and the spirit of grace and may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all Amen Amen
Let's turn to the Lord and bring our prayers and our petitions. Let our response be, Lord, 